I was actually supposed to record this video like, like uh, <laughs> like an hour ago, but stuff happened and I got busy. I got like super fucking busy. Uh, but now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, review Dragon Ball Super episode 114 and uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say that like overall no matter what I say in this episode about maybe like a certain part in the episode that you know that something happened no matter what I say I think the episode was good. I had fun watching it. It was very enjoyable to watch. But there was some stuff that I just wish that kind of just wasn't there. And uh, I'll go more into detail in a little bit towards like probably the end of the episode because it's specifically about the fusion of Khalifa and Kale. Duh. You know, it's just, <laughs> just you know, just that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and point out. Uh, the animation art style for this episode it was super fucking good it was it was a lot better than I initially you know was expecting it to be uh, I really wasn't expecting it to be like as good as it was like I was watching the episode and then when the, the beginning of the episode starts off with where I left off last week last week with kale going into a, into a berserk form you could see the animation the art style and the shading of the, the characters that you're seeing on your screen it looks fucking fantastic i was i was genuinely surprised at how how beautiful this episode looked and obviously you know there's the choreography of the episode that's as typical as it could ever be and stuff like that and like sumitomo's music and the art style uh, with like shading of the characters and just overall the whole episode it, it looked fantastic the music was enjoyable to, uh, to listen to rather I was about to say watch but it's the listening because it's music uh, it was super good like like the whole like episode is mainly derivative towards action especially with kind of the beginning of the episode like where we were left off last week with Kale going into her berserker form and it turns out uh, the kind of whole setup that they were gonna have with Kale going into her berserker form is uh, immediately once she's in there, Goku starts having flashbacks of Kale from like what episode 100? I'm pretty sure, um, she, where she was going like literally berserk all over the arena the whole time. Khalifa is getting like super fucking excited. She's like, "Wow, Kale is amazing!" And I'm like, "Yeah, but she looks like Broly. And that sucks." <laughs> so. For new subscribers, I hate Broly. I don't think he's a compelling character. I don't think he's a favorable character whatsoever. I'm just putting that out there. And that's why I don't like B Berserker form Kale when she's like completely out of control. And the reason why I say when she's completely out of control is because Khalifa says some shit. She's like, oh, my protege, my precious protege. You're my best friend. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> There's kind of like this funny shot where Khalifa... <laughs> Is like trying to hold hands with Kale. Kale grabs her hand and fucking smushes it in her fucking hand, right? And then she's going off on like whatever her fucking tangent was, saying like, oh, my precious protege and stuff like that. And then Kale takes control of her berserker form. She's finally in control of her berserker form. I'm not completely against that. I feel like it was like kind of teased and set up that she would eventually be able to control her berserker form. And like, what is it? Episode <clears throat> episode one hundred one, one hundred and one, where she kind of was like in a controlled berserker form, but like it's her Super Saiyan form. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to get a uh, an, a name for this transformation of her controlled berserker form state. You know, we're gonna have to get an official name for it sooner or later. Sooner or later, right? Excuse me, I just got finished eating food, even though it's like 10 o'clock at night, so... Uh, the episode, you know, kind of continues on from there. Uh, of course, you know, Vegeta... They show off Vegeta and Topo, they're fighting and stuff like that. And then they sense Kale, they sense... Uh, before I just what I just explained happened, they sense, you know, her 
her enraged energy. Vegeta's like, is that that universe six saying Kale again? Da 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 da, whatever, right? <sighs> I I didn't initially think about it when I when I first watched the episode, but then I kind of watched or I kind of saw what other people were saying on like Twitter and stuff like that, saying that they cucked Vegeta and that they don't want to show they don't want to show Topo versus Vegeta. And then I realized it, and then I was like, wow, they, Vegeta really did get cucked for like the 15th time in his fucking tournament of power. <laughs> I'm serious, like we get one scene with Topo and Vegeta, right? And we just want to see him fight, at least just a little bit than what we got. And then it's like, no, we're going to go back to Kale and Khalifa and shit. And I'm like, oh, cool. That's 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 fine, uh, you know. I'm I'm kind of upset a little bit, but whatever. So, Kale gets her controlled state. Stuff happens. Uh, they go after Goku, obviously, because now Kale is in her controlled state. Now they're holding hands and shit. Uh, they power up. <laughs> they power up. They go after Goku. Uh, everyone's obviously surprised. You know the fact that. Kale finally got in control of her fucking power now. Her, you know, her fucking humongous power increase and, and all that kind of put them put them on an edge with Goku. And really quick, I just, I, I kind of just want to point this out. I, I, I just want to point this out. As I was watching the episode, I, I, I kind of thought, like, this whole scene was really fucking retarded. <laughs> I've been using that word a lot more recently. What's wrong with me? I thought this whole, like, sequence of events that happened with Goku and Super Saiyan 2, need I remind you? You know? <laughs> like, l last week, we we completely saw Khalifa get dicked on by Goku in his base form, right? Like, and it's like, yeah, like, Khalifa kind of got stronger throughout the whole fight and stuff like that. That... I wouldn't say that almost forgives the fact that just by Kale getting her power increase and then Khalifa pretty much just being there, uh, kind of learning how Goku's fighting and stuff like that, forgives how well they were doing against Super Saiyan 2 Goku, who completely dicked on fucking Khalifa in his base form. I just think that's kind of retarded, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not a fucking power scaler. Like I said in the video that I posted earlier today, as the time I'm recording this, which is on Saturday, and you may see this later tonight on Saturday or early tomorrow morning on Sunday, but I'll I'll have to think about it. So they power up and they go after Goku. Stuff happens. They kind of get some really good hits in against Goku and stuff like that. It was actually really enjoyable to watch. Then we see uh, Goku kind of being pushed back into a corner, and he uses the the solar flare, the Taioken. And it was... I, I don't know. I kind of had like a smile on my face watching this again, because Goku was like, yeah, I, I gotta borrow your technique, Tien, and then he used the Taioken. I was like, yeah, we haven't seen that since Krillin used it. Like, like like 10 episodes ago <laughs> not not 10 episodes ago like maybe like 15 ish right maybe a little bit more than that but we haven't seen solar flare being used since you know since krillin used it and i i think it's always enjoyable seeing like original dragon ball techniques and even and even dragon ball z techniques being used so goku uses the solar flare uh, obviously he dodges uh khalifa uh gets ran into a fucking giant boulder mountain thing and then Kale goes after Goku sla slams him into the wall right and I thought I don't know why I thought this line was hilarious when I read it in the subtitles on the Crunchyroll right uh, she said sis was going to hit you why did you dodge it and I, I just laughed I thought that was a hilarious line because I was like she's like why did you dodge it and if I was Goku in this scenario I'd be like did you want me to get hit this is a tournament. I'm supposed to, you know, not get hit intentionally, you know? I'm not supposed to, you know, lose and stuff. That's kind of the point of a tournament. I, I don't know why. I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was a hilarious line from Kale. Uh, we get a shot from 
uh, from Frieza. Frieza was in the episode kind of briefly, right? We we saw a little bit of glimpses of Frieza. He's kind of just standing there, laughing, shooting blast everywhere. We sh we see a small glimpse of Dispo, and I thought Dispo was honestly going to go after Frieza. No, he decides not to go after Frieza because he's like, nah, I can't take on that guy. <laughs> And then we get one of the Universe 3 guys. I want to say that he's from Universe 3. I think he says he's from Universe 3. He could be from Universe 4 for all I know. But uh, his he says his name is uh, Koto Pesla. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I apologize for butchering names and stuff as I always do. <laughs> but you know he kind of is like yeah that's my name uh yeah he's he's from universe 3 he says he's a policeman of justice and we kind of get a little bit more of dialogue from him i thought he was i thought he was kind of funny and enjoyable to watch cuz he reminded he reminded me of jocko a little bit you know with like the whole galactic patrolman bullshit that jocko does uh kale and uh, Goku come out right and they kind of get in you know Frieza's way kind of because he was going after the fucking dude from universe 3 uh, Frieza's saying you know whatever bullshit he has to say saying like ah, I'm not gonna go after that guy I'm gonna go after those two uh, meaning Khalifa and Kale and then Goku's like no these it's first come first serve you bastard and then I'm just like yeah well I guess that's fair <laughs> I guess that's fair uh, so the, the fight continues uh, Stuff happens the fucking universe 3 guy goes into a different form Apparently he's like super fast and then he kind of just disappears and Frieza's like nah I'm not gonna go after him. I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with this crap right now uh, Stuff happens, you know, we kind of get a little bit of confrontation with Goku and Frieza uh, Just with typical Go uh, Goku and Frieza and stuff like that uh, Khalifa and Kale power up they go after Goku stuff happens um, and then it goes into an ad co slash commercial break you know if you're watching it on Fuji TV um, Kale, uh, not Kale, Khalifa sh uh, shoots off a bunch of blasts right not at Goku but like kind of near Goku uh, causing a whole bunch of smoke screen to, to you know you know kind of surround him right Kale comes out uh, comes after Goku from behind Goku's like no that's not gonna work and then Kale is like but that's what we wanted to happen she grabs the fucker's arm and then K Khalifa starts just wailing on Goku. I'm like, oh yeah, well that that's fair. <laughs> that I know it's a two on one. I know it's a two on one, and it's tag team and stuff like that. But I'm just like, why you gotta be a fucking bastard? <laughs> why you gotta be a fucking bastard, you motherfucker? Um, of course, Champa is like, yeah, stuff is happening. Da da. You know, Champa's being Champa. Uh, Goku uses the instantaneous movement, but I guess that doesn't really matter anymore for some almost dumb reason because now Khalifa can, you know, sense where Goku's gonna be once he uses it. And then there's something else that kind of proved my point that I was talking about earlier in the video, like how Goku in his base form was able to dick on Khalifa and stuff like that. They decided to make Goku go Super Saiyan God. They decided to make Goku go Super Saiyan God. Uh, the Supreme Kaioshin was like, wow, I'm surprised he can do that. He hasn't fully recovered yet. And I'm just like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense either. But either way, I was my point was fucking proven. At least it looked cool, though. At least the animation looked really cool, though. And then they kind of go off and off. And talking, about, talking about Khalifa and Kale. They kind of went off the whole episode, uh, mainly in this episode. I'm, I'm not sure what they're going to be doing next week's episode. They kind of went off on a whole bunch of tangents saying, Oh yeah, together we're the strongest in all the universes. And I'm like, ah, but uh, I want to see you try dealing with Jiren. And <laughs> Like, like secretly, I want to be a power scaler. I'm just not fucking smart enough to do it, so I can't be a power scaler. So, uh, Goku is obviously defending himself against Khalifa and Kale. Uh, then Khalifa and Kale start shooting off blasts against each other. And then Goku shoots off, you know, his own individual blast at the both of them. He shoots off two of them. Uh, but after, actually, before he does that, uh, Kale shot a blast... Um, 
at Goku, and then Goku actually went through Kale's blast and did like a cooler thing from, uh, from uh, the uh, Revenge of Cooler movie, uh, if if you remember. Uh, when Cooler went through Goku's Kamehameha, Goku essentially did the same thing to Kale and like kind of punched her in the fucking face, and I thought that was awesome. I thought it looked so good because of uh, the animation in the episode, obviously. So and Then we get to the part where I was just talking about Goku shoots off his own individual blast at Khalifa and Kale. Uh, one of them is following Khalifa, and the other one, uh, Kale is kind of like, you know, trying to throw it back and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, Kale deals with hers. Khalifa dodges hers, but then gets hit uh, from, I'm pretty sure, the one that Kale pretty much threw away. I don't really remember or kind of realized what happened. So, Khalifa gets hit by the attack. At this point, Khalifa, you know, is severely weakened. Uh, she's kind of not, bar she's barely not even able to s stand up, and it's just like Kale by herself, right? So, you know, Khalifa's being Khalifa. She's like, oh yeah, I can, I can still fight. Uh, and then, and then we got to the part of the episode where I went into it because of last week's previews. Uh, like if you if you didn't know last week in the previews, I even talked about it last week in my video They kind of showed in the previews that Khalifa and Kale were gonna fuse and initially I was like yeah It looks cool and at least like fusion is back again but then it went against the rules that were set up and my point was is that I see Potara uh, the Potara earrings as a source of weaponry now you can't hurt someone with like a physical earring of course you you can't really do that with the potara but it's the fact that two people can gain an unfair advantage against others just by simply using the potara earrings and i didn't like that and this episode further proved my point that in this tournament stance where there are rules that are obviously you know being fucking <laughs> that are, you know, <laughs> that people are going against, it just kind of pissed me off because Khalif was like, yo, let's use uh, the items that we got before the tournament. And I'm like, oh, here it is. And granted, like, yes, like, this is the reason why I kind of went off in the beginning saying, no matter what I say, uh, take it with like a grain of salt. I didn't exactly say it like that, but take it with a grain of salt. Now, I didn't like when they initially fused because of the initial rules that were given and the fact that I just thought it was fucking retarded how they decided to make Khalifa and Kale fuse just because they had the Potara before the tournament fucking started, right? I just thought it was fucking stupid, right? Now, let me just say this. I like the fusion. I like Khalifa and Kale. I think they're fun characters in this entire time. With like Kappa and Khalifa and Kale and stuff like that, they've been teasing, you know, a Planet Sadala arc, and I'm all for it. It's just that if they had done a Khalifa and Kale fusion any other time in the series, either it being for some reason before the Tournament of Power or after the Tournament of Power, I would have been all for this. I would have loved it. But simply because of the fact that they completely went against the rules in my opinion with you know weaponry and determinative power it just pissed me off it just pissed me off i went on a rant on twitter saying how much i thought this was fucking stupid and i say i went off on a rant on twitter and if you go on my account you see no tweets about it uh that's like my main twitter account that i have specifically just to like videos you know tell people uh that you like yeah a video just got posted and like playlist updates and stuff stuff like that for like Dragon Ball Super and Boruto but I have other accounts that I use to you know communicate with the community with uh, just my personal opinion you know but you know I kind of went off on a rant about it saying how much I didn't like it uh, I saw someone say on uh, one of the accounts saying that the episode was orgasmic and although I agreed and said, like, yeah, it looked amazing in terms of animation, Sumitomo's music was fantastic, and it was fun to watch, I didn't like the fusion. I thought it was fucking stupid. But whatever. Like I said, take what I just said with a grain of salt. 
If you hate my opinion, go ahead and hate my opinion. I respect yours as much as I respect mine. Everyone has their own opinion, but... You know, I, I kind of just wish they didn't fucking do it right in the middle of determining the power. I just think that's fucking stupid. But with that... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the fusion between Kale and Khalifa is Kalefla. And I don't really like the name all too much. Because it's like... Like, I, I was hearing people saying, like, Kefla and stuff like that. Or, like... They're, like, kind of K... Kefla, like Kefla, like that, and then uh, I don't know. <laughs> At this point, I'm just trying to fucking have some sort of way to kind of, you know, make the video not longer, but kind of just, you know, kind of give off more about the episode than what I initially had for the ending of the episode. Besides that, but the episode ends off with Kale Flug doing like a right hook against Super Saiyan God Goku because apparently she's faster than Super Saiyan God Goku. Completely fucking blitzes the motherfucker. Uh, just maybe that's due because he's not completely at full strength. But whatever, right? I think I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the previews uh, really quick because I think that's bullshit as well. And power scalers are gonna have a fucking field trip about this, and that's that Super Saiyan Kaofla is supposedly stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Because in the episode previews, it says Goku versus Kaofla. Super Saiyan Blue defeated something like that. And I'm just like, can can they not like make this fusion bullshit like super overpowered? Like, what, I, what I, I'm honestly... I'm going to go ahead and be a prognosticator and say that Kaofla is, is going to eliminate Goku, right? But then the Grand Priest is, uh, is going to step in and he's going to be like, Potara is against the rules, Kaofla is eliminated, therefore Goku is then allowed back into the tournament. I think they're gonna do what they did back in like the the Universe Six tournament arc, where they found that they found out that Frost was cheating with like poison needles and like his body and stuff like that, and because of that, Goku was able to go back into the tournament and participate. I think they're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna go ahead and prognosticate it and say that I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and predict that that's that's what's gonna happen. I want people to come back to this video. I want people to come back to this video. And when that happens, or if that happens, I want people to come back to this video and just leave in the comments saying like, "Oh, f you fucking called it! Holy shit!" I don't know. I, I think I think that's gonna be a, a hilarious way to kind of bring Goku back into the tournament. Um, you know, if he gets eliminated, uh, or if stuff goes like the way I think it's going to. But whatever. That's the end of the episode. That's all the previews. That's everything I had to talk about. Uh, I can go on and on and say, and say how much I think that power scaling is fucking bullshit in this fucking series. But honestly, I'm just not that good of a power scaler to really tell you like, oh, so person is this strong. I, I just can't do it because there's a lot of math and science involved and I don't really want to bother with it. But whatever. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button for future content just like this. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'm out.